This is a vlog about extraterrestrials, calendars, and time. The word extraterrestrial refers to anything outside of the planet Earth. Therefore, by this definition, the sun is an extraterrestrial being because it is outside or beyond the planet Earth. The moon is an extraterrestrial being because it is outside or beyond the planet Earth. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, all of these are extraterrestrials because they are outside of the planet Earth. Extraterrestrial life is another conversation. Something to consider, something to think about. The sun is the source of all life on earth. If there was no sun, there would be no life on earth. However, we do not think, most people do not consider that the sun is alive. However, without the sun, there would be no life. So is the sun alive? If the sun is alive, then that is a primary example of extraterrestrial life by definition. A photon of light that originates on the sun and travels to the earth is an extraterrestrial being that has come to earth by definition. If you are a sun worshiper or a moon worshiper, or you reverence the sun and you reverence the moon, you reverence extraterrestrial beings by definition. What is a day? A day is the amount of time it takes for the earth to rotate 360 degrees around its axis one time. We average this at 24 hours. If the earth was smaller, the days would be shorter. If the earth was larger, the days would be longer. What is a year? A year is the amount of time it takes for the earth to completely rotate around the sun 360 degrees. If the earth was closer to the sun, the year would be shorter. If the earth was farther away from the sun, the year would be longer. What is a month? A month is the amount of time it takes for the moon to go through its phases as seen from the planet Earth. As the planet Earth rotates around the sun, the moon goes through its phases on average about 12 times. This is why we have 12 months within a year. What is a week? A week is an arbitrary designation based on religious theology association to the moon. It could be three days, it could be 10 days. But the primary reason why we use a seven day week is because of religious theology. There's really no scientific basis on the designation of a seven day week. If we lived on a planet that did not have a moon, we would not have months, nor would we have weeks in our calendar. If we lived on a planet that had two moons, we may have twice as many months within our calendar. If we lived on a planet that had two moons, there would be some nights where one moon would be a crescent and the other moon would be full, there would be some nights where both moons may be a crescent or both moons may be full. And there would be some nights where we would be able to see one moon and the other moon would be unseen. 